So a lot of people say there's not much they could do in Cold War. The skill-based matchmaking is just way too high and it's just unfair and there's nothing they could do to actually get better. Well, I have to say guys, there's a few things you could actually do to change your gameplay and actually be a lot better. No matter what type of lobby you get into, whether it's the highest skill or the lowest skill, you'll always end up on top of the leaderboard. Now, there's a lot of things from broken game mechanics to settings you could change and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna be talking about all of that today to help you guys actually get better at this game. And these are the six pro tips than not many people talk about in Cold War. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video, man. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about tips that not many people talk about. A lot of people show you how to aim properly, a lot of people show you different stuff, but we're going to actually talk about some things to actually go into your mindset of when you're playing to make you a better player and some other tips as well. Now there's one or two tips in this video that I've already given you guys, but I want to drill this stuff in your head, man. I want you guys to know every single time when you open your game up that this is what you should be doing. You'll be a much better player and it'll be a lot easier. Now, guys, if we could go for a thousand and thirteen likes on this video, that would be absolutely amazing. I don't know why that number it just looks like a nice number. And if you guys can subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on, whether this is your first video watching or you guys have been to the channel before, might as well do it. I'm close to 700k, make me happy, man. Let's just get it. We're gonna get it, man. We're gonna get that 700k. So let's get into the actual tips now. Now, at number six, we're gonna go from six to one in this video. At tip number six, uh, we're gonna talk sensitivity. This is something that I think is super important. This is something I talk about a lot and a lot of people say that well the pro players play on a low sensitivity so obviously a low sensitivity is better now the pro players do play low it is better I'm not gonna deny that but they play on a three or a four or something like really really low and in my opinion yes that is great but that's not great for multiplayer like you guys got to remember they're playing pro settings they're playing against other pros not many people are gonna be flanking when they're playing against each other and they all do callouts they all know where the enemies are in multiplayer chance Chances are enemies are gonna flank you stuff like that's gonna happen you don't know where everyone is you might be playing with a bunch of randoms and nobody's telling you where anyone is so this is very different for you so what I suggest here is putting your sensitivity anywhere to a 7 or an 8 so you at least have time to turn on someone but your sensitivity is still low enough that when you're actually shooting at the enemies or going to center your crosshair to shoot at the enemies you don't have to worry about missing them at all you don't have to worry about moving a little too fast or anything so have, putting it a little lower to a 7 or 8 rather than a 14 or something is great you could turn on them you don't have to worry about anything like that and you could still aim nicely now let's go down to number five and number five is using the broken game mechanics like the camera angles and all that kind of stuff the head glitches everything to your advantage now if you're in a building let's say for example and you crouch crouch at a window looking outside now if you're on the second floor this is even better if you're on the second floor of a building and you're crouching and aiming your gun outside the window the enemy is only going to see your forehead pretty much they're not going to see much of your body and this is easier for you and you're going to see most of their body if not the whole entire body so this allows you to actually shoot the whole entire enemy you have a much bigger target to hit while he's trying to shoot you he could only see your forehead so he has such a tiny target to hit he's going to be missing his bullets you don't don't have to worry about anything like that and his vertical kick on his weapon is probably gonna make him miss some shots so this is gonna be a lot easier for you to actually go and get the kills now there's a few other broken camera angles and stuff like that that we could talk about and one of them is standing at the bottom of a staircase now normally standing at the bottom is the worst spot you want to be in but for some reason if you're standing at the bottom of the staircase in this game it's better than standing at the top of the staircase now the top of the staircase does have some advantages like they could shoot your head easier than you could shoot theirs meaning they do more damage and they could kill you faster but one thing I noticed when you're standing at the bottom of the staircase you could see their whole entire body from the waist up now if they're standing a little further back in the staircase but they're still on top they're not going to see much of your body if any at all well you could still see them that's how broken the camera angles are so sometimes being at the bottom staircase is better than being at the top now another one is when you're turning around corners and stuff like that you want to make sure you always jump before you turn the corner you want to pre-aim your gun as well you want to be aiming down sights and jumping and looking where you think enemies are going to be now if there is an enemy that's sitting there pre-aiming that area waiting for someone to come around the corner this is where it's more in his favor 
the camera angles in this game, the latency, the lag, everything that happens in this game gives him the advantage at that point. He's going to see your body before you could see him. At least a millisecond all the way up to a full entire second, he has that advantage on you. And in a game where you die in just milliseconds, he's probably going to kill you before you could. But if you jump around the corner, you slide around the corner, you do something and you pre-aim where you think he's going to be, this is better in your favor. Because not only are you making yourself a harder target to hit, you're actually pre-aiming and you're actually going to get this guy 9 out of 10 times because he's not going to know what's coming and you're already aiming at him. So this is really good. That's something you want to do. Now going down to number 4 is centering your crosshairs. This is something that's really important as well and it's like Modern Warfare. In this game you have your crosshairs, those four little lines in the middle of your screen when you're running you see them. There's also a dot in the center of those. So even when you're sprinting that little dot is there. Even if the lines disappear that little dot is always there and this dot should be used as a guide. You should always point it where you think the enemies might be. Whether it's windows, doorways, corners, head glitches, wherever you think enemies are going to be, always have that dot pointed there just in case there is an enemy there or an enemy pops up out of nowhere and he comes around the corner while your dot is pointed there. All you have to do is aim down sights. You don't have to worry about fixing your aim, you don't have to worry about anything, and I highly suggest shooting before you aim down sights, so maybe one shot, uh, a hip fire shot I should say, could end up hitting him and it just works out in your favor. You should be able to get him. He's going to have to adjust his aim. He's going to have to try to aim at you perfectly while you're already aiming directly at the dude. So this is great for you. Now let's move on to tip number three. And tip number three, what the heck was that? <laughs> Something just fell. That tip number three is know when to camp and know when to rush. Now it might sound bad. I'm telling you guys to camp. A lot of people hate oh, campers, so cool. but it works in your favor sometimes. So you got to know if there's a bunch of enemies coming towards you on one side of the map, the worst thing to do is just sprint out towards them. You're, you're making yourself a very easy target to hit. They're all going to shoot you at the same time. This is where you want to camp back. You want to maybe sit in a corner, maybe sit in a head glitch. Let them come to you one by one and you could easily pick them off. Now another time is when you want to rush. If your whole entire team is ahead of you and you got maybe another teammate behind you and stuff, you know there's no real enemies around you at this point. This is when you can rush to the other side of the map, hopefully pick off a few people and all that kind of stuff. Now I won't suggest camping the whole entire game. You're not going to have good gameplay doing that but sometimes it is really worth it and I do camp a lot I do and, and when you camp I don't mean just sit in one corner and let them come over and over again and sit in one building move around in that building kill two people move to another part of that building they're, they're gonna come back don't worry they're they're angry they want to kill you and they won't expect you to be at the opposite corner and then you could kill them again and stuff and then get the heck out of there going down to number two you got to know your enemies and when I talk about this it, it, it takes a lot of time to actually know your enemies but the more you play the game the more you know what hot spot are on the map and let's take the map raid for example when I play raid I know for a fact that most people go towards the middle of the map most people go towards the garden side of the map and most people go towards the circle area where the statue is that's where most people play so I know that those are very hot areas that's where I should be focusing on not many people go all the way to the pool side yeah, there is some people there but not many so you got to know that type of stuff as well now let's go down to a bonus tip before we actually get to the first one and this one is actually going to a private match this is to practice your accuracy and give you the best aim you possibly could and if you do this every single day before you start playing it's going to work for you so you want to go into a private match set it on maximum enemies put the bots on recruit so they're super easy they'll ba they'll barely shoot back at you trust me put the health to max put it to headshots only radar always on and turn off your aim assist in the settings it doesn't matter what level the bots are at recruit is easier because you're just practicing your aim here you're going to have to go for aim shots you're not going to have aim assist to help you and it's going to actually make you much much better at the game it's going to be much easier for you once you go back into multiplayer play against real people and make sure you turn your aim assist back on it's going to be real easy i've had a few times where i forgot to turn aim assist back on and i thought i was really garbage at the game but yeah just turn it back on man at number one we're going to talk about something that has to do with your like psychological mode i guess man when you're playing the game and somebody kills you and, and then somebody kills you again and again and again. Do not get angry. Don't get frustrated. Don't try to seek revenge. Don't try to go after them and stuff like that. It, it happens, man. Some people go on death streaks. Man, you guys probably watched my video the other day. I died 10 times in a row. I didn't get angry. Like, I laughed it off and stuff. That's what you have to do. You can't get angry because once you get angry, one, you're not thinking straight. So you're running out there like a headless chicken. Two, your accuracy is going to be garbage because you're just going to be focusing on trying to hit these dudes. You're going to be focusing too hard, if that makes sense. You're just not going to do that great. And number three, yeah, you're, you're 
I'm going to go back to not thinking straight. You're just going to run. You're not going to care. You have one dude in mind. And then there's still five other enemies you have to worry about. But you're not going to be thinking of them. And then they're going to get you before you even get to the other guy. So don't don't worry about them, man. Someone kills you. Just play the game. Play normal. You start a new life. Doesn't matter. Your, your score streaks and stuff. Your kill streaks. You still get them if you die. That's what's good about this game, I guess. But anyways, guys. Thank you for watching this video, man. If you did enjoy it. Like I said, if we could go for 1,013 likes. That would be truly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. With those notifications turned on. Hopefully these tips help you. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.